What's up guys this is Kate Cloudy and the Lineage OS official builds are now out finally and of course I went ahead and flashed the nightly build on my Nexus 5 and in this video I'll be sharing my initial experience and impressions with this ROM after 24 hours of usage. Now before this ROM came out I first expected that it would be a lot similar to CyanogenMod 14.1 but now that I've used it I can say it's exactly like CyanogenMod 14.1. So before I go in detail with my experience of this ROM in the last 24 hours, let me just walk you through the installation process. Well, it's as easy as flashing any ROM. You first need to download the ROM zip, the gapps from the official website linked in the description. And once you do that, you need to power off your device and then you need to boot into the bootloader using the uh, shortcut keys, power off and volume down. And once you boot into the bootloader, navigate and get into the custom recovery using the volume down button. And once you get into the two op recovery, first what I recommend you to do is just take a backup of your current device state just to be on a safer side. And then you just need to go to the home page and select wipe, which will do a complete factory reset without affecting your files, photos and your internal storage. It'll just wipe your apps and the current ROM. Now comes the main part you need to go back to the home page again and click on install and here you just need to browse the two, uh, two zips and once you've done that just swipe this bar to flash then be patient sit back and wait for an eternity and no i'm not exaggerating it does take an eternity to get this thing to install one eternity later yeah so after that i successfully booted up into lineage os first impressions this feels exactly like signage mode even it came with the same wallpaper and as I used it, it felt pretty smooth as for any newly installed ROM. But then as I started installing all my apps and get everything set up, it started to lag, it started to slow down, it started to stutter, it became unresponsive and it was totally a letdown for me. And here's one thing, when I launched the camera app, the screen just totally froze over as you can see right here and it could be only fixed by a reboot. And I haven't seen any ROM which just started stu stuttering and lagging at such an early stage. But still after that I continued using the ROM and I headed over to the settings to see if there were any changes. And I just found a total of 4 changes. First one is when you tap on the Lineage OS version number, you the Lineage OS logo pops out. Uh, that's pretty neat I would say, there's no easter egg change so there's that. Second change, when you click on contributors. It shows up the Lineage OS logo instead of the CyanogenMod logo, which is expected again. And the update page is completely redesigned from scratch. You get this whole nice new UI, which looks pretty neat in my opinion. I mean, it doesn't do anything, but I think it's a nice touch. And the last and the final change is the boot animation is redesigned from scratch again. It's nothing extraordinary or something like that, but still it's a nice touch. But apart from all these four changes, which sound like really incremental, you don't pretty much see any new feature additions in Lineage OS. One thing which really disappointed me was that root access in developer settings removed the option for apps and ADP. There's just two options, disabled and ADP only. And that's like useless actually. So if you want root, you need to install super user separately. Now coming to the features this ROM has, again, as I said, it's exactly like Sanjay Mod. So all the features you get are straight up from Sanjay Mod, whether it be the customizable buttons, the customizable status bars, ambient display, and the whole deal exactly out of Sanjay Mod. It even has those pre installed Sanjay Mod bloatware apps. I just really hate them. I mentioned it in my previous video. Everything sucks except for audio effects. Now, I have already talked about the performance, which is like really inconsistent and bad, but surprisingly, the battery life is pretty decent. I was getting in one charge. Uh, two hours of screen on time and the standby times were pretty good now that's not exactly really good i am used to getting two and a half hours to three hours of screen on time but this could just only uh, sustain with two hours of screen on time and speaking of battery life this again has the slow charging bug which i've mentioned in most of my nexus 5 rom reviews i still don't understand why this hasn't been fixed at this point but still it's really annoying to have this bug and it charges your device at a ridiculously slow rate so overall, my 24 hours of usage with Lineage OS, I have to say I'm quite disappointed. But I don't really blame the developers behind Lineage OS because I can understand that they had to do lots of work 
in such a less time they had lots to deliver they had to set up a new site and also uh, set everything up from scratch now even though i wouldn't recommend you to use this as your daily driver but i would surely suggest that you wait for a couple of months uh, until all the bugs get fixed um, there might be additions of new features and that's why i'm going to wait for a couple of months and do a long term review and hope that everything gets better and all the bugs are fixed it's stable it has better performance and also as most of the issues fixed with this so yeah those were my impressions of lineage os after 24 hours of use well just as i said i can't really recommend you to download this rom and install it as your daily driver but still if you're looking for a good stable nexus 5 rom i highly recommend you to check out the dark rom which is an unofficial build of lineage os itself and it's got tons of features it's, it has all of the pixel features it has great performance it has great battery life and overall it's a very good pack and i've been using it for the past month and i haven't been disappointed so highly recommend you to check that out and also i've made a review on that so you can check that out as well but either way thank you so much for watching this video like this video if you liked it subscribe for more fresh content like this and yeah thanks for watching i'll catch you guys in the next one cheers to remember the name